Hello, lovies. It's your Auntie Lisa, the cool aunt, the non judgmental aunt, the aunt you can tell anything to. Now, I've learned some life lessons, some of them the hard way. Let's find out what life lessons we have today with Auntie Lisa's life lessons. Hello, my lovies. It's your Auntie Lisa. Welcome to Auntie Lisa's Life Lessons. We're starting a whole new adventure with this one. Um, We're actually going to have podcasts, audio podcasts available, and I'll have all those details for you in the description down below. Of course, we're going to continue with our video podcast as well. Um, But (laughs) what is not going to change in Auntie Lisa's Life Lessons is the fact that I am trying to help you live a better life by learning the lessons that your auntie has learned maybe a little bit too difficultly, if you follow what I'm saying. So today's life lesson, my God, I am so sorry about my hair. I slept on it wet. That's not today's life lesson, but that will be a future life lesson on how to deal with very curly hair. Okay. Um, because yeah, this is, this is, (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> oh, your auntie has had a had a day and a half, let me tell you. Okay, so, first of all, we can put Auntie Lisa's life lesson today into one cliche that people say all the time, but it's so true. Do not bite off more than you can chew. And, and I mean that literally i mean you know if you're eating don't shove your face full of of food and that's how choking happens but and your mom is making sure that i'm telling you that but (laughs) oh god it's also figuratively and i will tell you why i came to this life lesson and to this conclusion so my husband and i are resellers we have a reselling business which means We find things that are priced low, we buy them, and then we flip them for a profit. We get our (laughs) inventory from a lot of different places. We get it from estate sales, garage sales, thrift stores, different places. People give it to us, just give it to us. Yesterday... (laughs) we decided we were going to go to a storage unit auction. Now, I've seen so many people here on on YouTube and and in other places. There's a podcast I listen to that I absolutely love. It's the Trash to Cash podcast. I mean, and and then there's people like, um, oh, what is his name? He goes by Jeebus. He does storage units. And so I'm always trying to find the next best way to do our inventory to get our inventory right so yes so this weekend we go to a town about 30 miles from here and we participate in the storage unit auction there was about seven or eight uh, units that were being auctioned off my husband and I have a way that we communicate is we don't want to talk about what we're thinking in front of everybody else because, you know. And if either one of us squeeze, we hold hands a lot because, you know, we're that couple. (laughs) I have to admit it, I've been married to the man for 11 years and I'm still in love with him. But anyway, uh, we hold our hands and if we want a unit, we squeeze three times, one, two, three. If the other partner says, oh, hell no, we stop holding hands. The other partner will let go. If the other partner is agreeable, one squeeze. Okay. So that's how we communicate. And we've gone through all of these units, right? I mean, every single one. And there were a couple I looked in and went, Oh, hell no. And I took my hand away from his even before he had the chance to squeeze my hand if he was interested in them. Because, you know, they were filled with things like, and there's nothing wrong with tomato cages, but I wasn't in the 
presence of mind to to purchase a bunch of potato uh, tomato cages. You know what I mean? So we're looking and we come across this <laughs> the very last unit. And in this last unit is a dollhouse that is incredible. It's a handmade dollhouse. And we see boxes and we see shelves, which we need for our reselling business, right? So, I, you know, we both are one, two, three. Then we get to talking strategy. Well, if we rent this, how much are we going to spend? I don't want to spend any more than 200 And then he goes, but what if it's, you know, somebody's really bidding against us? I say th 300 is good. I'm like, all right, fine. So we're bidding on this locker, right? And my husband's the bidder. I'm just sitting there watching it. And every time somebody goes up, he's like going to the next $10. And we end up getting it for $190, which is pretty good for this locker, right? It's got a lot of uh, we see totes, we see boxes, we see shelving units, and we see this dollhouse. Then it occurs to us, we got to empty this thing. <laughs> we got to empty this thing in 48 hours. Oh, crap. So let me give you a little bit of history. My husband is in his early 50s but is disabled. He has MS. <laughs> I am in my mid fifties and feel every bit of the, <laughs> and that's, that's my husband. Y'all <laughs> and feel every bit of my age today. Then we have our 20 year old son who was helping us. Well, we go and we, we run a U-Haul. We get the wrong size U-Haul. We got it one size too small. So we load everything we can into it. And these, this has got, it's like a multi-sectional desk. And each section is heavy AF. I mean, heavy. And we're trying to get that in. So we're getting these multi-section parts of the desk in. And then comes the dollhouse. It was so heavy. We didn't realize just how heavy it was. I mean, it was heavy. I don't know how the three of us got it up into the truck. We could not get it out of the truck. I had to call my friend Jason to have him come help me get it out of the truck. So it was an exercise in, in stamina yesterday. Not only was it an exercise in stamina, but it, I kept thinking to myself, Ooh, we bit off a little bit more than we could chew here. <laughs> we bit off a little bit more than we could chew here. So that's where Auntie Lisa's life lesson of don't bite off more than you can chew comes from. Because we had to go back. We barely had daylight when we came home. I mean, the sun was setting quickly. So we couldn't unload the last load until today and Dave and my son went out there and did it today. But I'm telling you, <laughs> Dave and I, after yesterday, we both came home. We took a shower and we went up to bed and that was it. We were gone because <laughs> we were so exhausted. My hair is so frizzy because I slept on it wet. <laughs> And it just curled up and looked like, oh, my goodness gracious. <laughs> so Auntie Lisa's life lesson today is a very simple one. If you find that you have taken on more than you can chew, ask for help. There's no shame in asking for help. Learn your lesson and don't take on more than you can chew next time. And um, remember another cliche but it's so true how do you eat an elephant one bite at a time so when you're faced with a task that looks daunting almost overwhelming just remember you can only do it one bit at a time and once you start doing that one bit at a time it gets done and gets done and gets done we Bought the unit at, 
I guess the auction was done at about noon. Yeah, no, it was it was 1135. I remember this because I immediately made a phone call to the nearest U-Haul place and they were already closed. So we had to go back to where we lived to get the U-Haul and head over there. So we, we got the auction and we paid for the unit at 1135. We get the, the truck, we come back, we load up everything we can. We get it back home at about, I want to say about three o'clock. We unload the truck. Oh my God. The unloading was hell. As I said, I had to get my friend Jason to help me. So we unload the truck. Then we have to go back because we still have four big bookshelves in the unit, plus a box, plus a whole bunch of chairs, you know, like lawn chairs and stuff and some tools. And so we still need to get all that out and we have to return the U-Haul the next day. So we knew we had to do it then. So we go and we load it up and we come home. And by the time we got home, it was around 7.30. Both my husband and I said, that's it. <laughs> we were both so sore. So Dave, Dave gets his shower first and he's, he takes the dog. He's like, I'm going to bed. I get my shower and I get up there and I go to bed. And our son, I say to him, don't forget to take a shower, right? Okay, well, maybe I'll do that tomorrow. He did it. He didn't take a shower. So we were, we were all dirty and nasty from unloading the storage unit, right? And he didn't take a shower. So I guess supplemental life lesson, if you're dirty and nasty, take a dang shower. I made him rewash all of his bed linens today because he went to bed all dirty and nasty last night. So anyway, don't bite off more than you can chew. And in my case, I think that means never again will I buy a storage unit that has multi-sectional desks in it. Because dang, that was heavy. I don't even know that it's a desk. I think it's some sort of crafting unit because there's one place in it where you can actually lift up a sewing machine and go down. So who knows? Don't bite off more than you can chew. That's Auntie Lisa's life lesson for you today. Expect more because I don't want you to make the same mistakes I've made in life because you'll end up with sore muscles and exhaustion and gray hair like your Auntie Lisa. Remember our mantra, which is be bold, be brave, be unstoppable. And I will see you next time. Bye. Oh, remember... I love you just the way you are. Bye.